this is a new reclaimer that I just got. It's a CPS Pro Set. CPS Pro Set. And I was a little concerned about there's not very much of a condenser on this, I don't see. So I wanted to try removing the refrigerant that's in this tank and put it into this tank, see how long it would take, time it. And then I wanted to hook up this, um, I forget what it's called, molecular something or other, and see if it made much of a difference, if I really needed it. I don't know how they, maybe they dissipate the heat out of the sides here, there's tubing in here, I don't know probably appeared to. The, um, then I wanted to compare it to my back rack that I bought this summer. And this has a pretty good sized condenser on it. That's what I was concerned uh, about this. It's, it works fine. It's fast. Um, it's light too. It's, it's lighter than the back rack. It's more compact. So it's for climbing up on a roof, climbing up on a roof, uh, this is more convenient, and storing it in the truck and whatever, a little pricey. But well, let's see, let's see if I get everything right here. Okay, I wanted to I want to time it and let's see, I'm gonna get everything ready to go. This tank open. Okay, so let's see. Let's just make sure you got a lot of hoses and a lot of levers here. The liquid comes out of here, goes through the gauges, out of the gauges to here, the gauges are open, comes out of here into the tank, and this valve's closed right now. So I'm going to start it. Um, let's start this up. Okay, I guess we don't do that again. And hit start. And we'll see how long it takes to transfer the gas out of this into this. Now this is supposed to have a, a faster liquid time than um, a lot of the other uh, I had an Appian they're very good, Appian's a very good uh, brand. I had, I had that for about five years and I just, uh, it was just getting a little beat around the edges and I gave that to my son and I bought this Baccarat, it's a new model that came out this summer. Works very good a little bit, the only thing is it's big. And I kind of like the compactness of this, and it seems to work fine. So I, I've used it once already, and it, yeah, you know, I haven't had any problems with it. So um, the only thing I was concerned about was the, um, the condenser. This is a little bit warm here. It says it's hot, but it's, I'm running liquid through it right now. That's what's happening. It's pumping liquid. And I've got 48 pounds pressure. I'm taking that. Um, so it's going into this tank. Tank's cool. Not hot at all. Good to make sure all the but I'm 
don't know if you can see in here, but we're moving liquid pretty fast. I'm pretty happy with it. It's okay. Now we'll get back to this. Okay, we're, we're pumping it down. It just hit zero. And we're at five minutes and 40 seconds. About. Let's turn off some valves here, and I'll switch it over to uh, swap the tanks around. Give me a second, but it, it was like it was five minutes and forty seconds. I got the this tank with the refrigerant in it. I think the refrigerant is four sixteen that I reclaimed from a unit, um, and it it's about. 14 pounds of refrigerant is what's in here. Um, I've got it coming out of here, going through my gauges, out of the gauges to the reclaimer, out of the reclaimer to this molecular. It's uh, All it is is an additional uh, condenser. And you're supposed to put it in a, a bucket of water. But I'm what I'm using is, is I've got this blower. I just made a bracket for it and set it down next to it. And it's cool enough. It's not really a really hot day. And um, the, the, it'll help liquid, you know, uh, we'll see how much it helps actually. And transform it into more uh, a liquid a little bit faster uh, reclaimer time, reclaim time. The refrigerant will go into this tank here. And uh, now, when I reclaimed it without this, it, the tank was wasn't hot. It was just like slightly warm, not even not much at all. But it's, like I said, it's not a very um, hot day today. It's only like 50 degrees, 55 degrees, something like that. It's a, it's fairly comfortable. Okay, so let's uh, open this up. So I don't want to make that mistake again. Let's get the timer set. Come on, timer. And I want to turn this on and start the timer. We're running liquid through it. He's complaining a little bit. I just throttled this off a little bit so I wouldn't hurt it. When you have a lot of liquid refrigerant coming into the uh, low side of the uh, the inlet of the uh, reclaimer, and the pressure on the high side is lower, the unit will actually bog down a bit. Uh, the newer ones are pretty strong. The original ones were really terrible like that. They would um, they would uh, pop a fuse on them. Uh, you, you could burn a, one of the newer when they were new back in the. Early in the 90s, 96, 97. My first reclaimer was an ice machine that I that I um, made a box for it and put it on a, a frame with wheels and I would wheel it around. I think it was a three quarter horsepower unit. It was a Ross Temp ice machine. That's what it was. But, um, yeah, it's taken. Let's see how the lines are shaking. And we'll see if we beat the uh, last time. What I did, what I've got here is the CPS, the time, just the CPS only, not a CPS plus the molecular transformator. And then we'll do the back rack. I, gave my Appian to my son, so I won't be able to test the Appian. I would like to, but the Appian is a very good unit. Other, all three of them are fine. And let's see, the only advantage I see out of this is the size and compactness of it. I, I was a little concerned about just using it alone without the molecular transmitter and with it, it doesn't have much of a 
condenser on it that I can see. And I don't really feel any air coming out of it anyways. So I don't know if it's using a high pressure and a radiator type effect. A little bit of air here, but I mean minimal. Right now it feels cold because I'm running liquid through it. It just says hot. There's an advertisement, uh, the company had a video and they showed them cooking an egg on this, on the top of this thing. It's going okay. Okay. Okay, it's, um, you made a noticeable change of sound. It, um, it must have finished off the liquid and went into the gas uh, mode. You know, it's pumping gas now. You can see it's nose diving pretty fast. Once it pumped the liquid out, it's dropping down. So let's see, we're at five. Five, two. Uh, okay, five, ten. So I saved a few seconds, 30 seconds. Yeah, a few seconds is, is saved. Maybe on a hot day it'd be worth it, but or if it's an awful lot of refrigerant, it might be worth it. But uh, okay, well let's we'll swap it over now and put the back rack on it and see how long it takes. Okay, we got this tank hooked up. Valves open. That's open. The gas will go through the yellow hose, out the blue hose, that's open. Um, go into the, through the dryer filter, into the back rack, out of the back rack. And this is closed and into this tank. So let's open this up. And that's up. And this is up. Okay, so we can start it. pressure on the low side than it is on the high side. They have to least uh, if you do it's it makes it a little bit rough on it. It's good usually to open the system up and let the refrigerant flow through it into the tank until it balances and then start it up. As I'm timing it we're pushing it a little bit. minutes 15 seconds already about a minute and more they're both 
fast, but Fifty-two has a purge feature on it to get the gas extra gas out of this. It's a nice feature having this purge feature. What it's doing is it's pumping the gas that's in the hoses here in the unit into the tank, rather than when you take the hose off, you get sprayed with it. But it'll pump into a vacuum and shut off. Okay, so 652 is uh, took. So. So the CPS alone was 5 minutes and 40 seconds and the back rack was 6, six minutes and 52 seconds with the molecular um, whatever it's called. It was a few seconds uh, quicker and I, I had the fan motor on it too. Um, but it didn't seem to help. The molecular thing didn't help that much because on a cool day. It helped a little bit. Maybe in the hot summertime it would be a big benefit, you know, on a, a hot roof, uh, you know, 90, 100 degree day uh, with some ice and water. That would help a lot, I'm sure, if there's a lot of refrigerant. But it looks like I can just use the, um, the CPS unit without the molecular uh, transformator and just use it. And, it's, and you can see the size difference, big difference in size. And let's check the weight now. All right. Let's see. Let me shut these tanks off. And... Okay. The back rack weighs 28 pounds and 15 ounces, almost 29 pounds. This one weighs about four, 24 pounds, so about 4 pounds less. And it works quick. I think it's, I, I like it. It works pretty good. It takes up less space in the truck too, so I kinda, that's a big plus. And I'm pretty happy with it. Okay guys, that's, um, that's it for today. Later.